sure you can control this thing? Let us hope! If I crash, it is the end for both of us! The Prince! Stop him! And so once more the Prince began the journey home. His mind of fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the Vizier. Be vigilant. Done well, Prince. Though I am sure it was not intentional. Watch out! That was close. Hide that column. The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. I'm impressed. Oh, good. Your opinion means a great deal to me. Is that how you thank the man who just saved your life? First, you did not save my life. I did. Second, you are not a man. Just a disembodied voice. A ghost. And third, I never asked for your help. And I certainly do not need it. While I admire your bravado, you would be wise to show some respect. And you would be wise to keep quiet. You are distracting me and we are no longer alone. Is this where I, I will continue my story from here next time? Nothing wrong. Save your crying for someone who cares. I should do something. Go ahead, all to your death. That will be of great use to them. Why am I always stuck with guard duty? The truth is burned out home. Waste of my time.
anywhere but that place! Something is happening down there. Whatever it is, it will continue until you have defeated the Vizier. You cannot help these people! Then let us make haste. Certainly taking your time getting back to the palace. Careful, these creatures seem to feed off the sands. Kill them before they steal any more from you! and fly? One can always dream. Uh. Babylon's defenders still live. The city. Shall I continue my story from here if you are called away? The city is not yet taken. Perhaps Father is among them.
You have done me a great service. Show yourself that I might thank you. So very strange. I wonder. No, it is silly to think such things. little detour. But let us be on with it. Head down to street level and we will look for a way to regain the rooftops. You are an insistent inner voice, aren't you? Well, someone has to make the decisions.
Should I continue from here when you return? I don't like the looks of this. This thing was once a man. He was there when Kylina died. Resume the tale next time.
The prince fled from the arena, embarrassed by the unwanted attention, fearful that they might realize he was becoming a sand monster. But something tugged at him. The freed citizens believed he had come to rescue them. That people, his people, now lived when they should have died. This was just an accident. His thoughts had been only of reaching the Vizier and exacting revenge. Perhaps now the Prince would remember he once fought for something other than his lost honor. It was simply too soon to tell. Await your response. I have heard tales, wondrous tales of a beautiful and brave princess of India, one who has traveled to Babylon seeking to punish an evil vizier who has caused her great distress. See? Now she's going to kill us. How in the world have you managed to survive this long? Good luck, stranger. nothing of our past together. Because it never happened. You know, no sands of time, no Azad. You get the Vizier, but you lose the girl. It doesn't matter. We're better off without her. Or have you forgotten? Maybe a few arrows in the back will help stir your memory. We must catch up with her. Fair enough. Though I suspect you and I want very different things from the girl.
continue my story from here if you are called away. You still have feelings for her. Admit it. Farah and I went through so much together. Though she may not remember, I can never forget. Time. How did you come to possess that? Here we go again. I took it from the vizier. That traitor. He murdered my father, enslaved my people, imprisoned me, and all in the name of becoming some kind of god. I know too well what he is capable of, but I intend to find him and punish him for what he has done to my kingdom. You are the son of Sharaman, the prince of Persia? And you are the daughter of the Maharaja. We both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally. it is wise to work together. There is strength in numbers, after all. I'm glad you've come around. Just don't make me regret it. Now let us find the Vizier. With the Dahaka defeated, the prince was slowly regaining pieces of his former self. The pressure and desperation which once drove him were gone. Grim as things seemed, there was now hope. Hope that peace could be restored to the land and to our tortured hero. But the vizier's army still hunted him. And they grew more determined. What 
is that thing? It's the Vizier. What's happened to him? Something terrible. Something wonderful. Wait! No! Be happy that he is gone. You never would have stood a chance. Oh, how silly of me. You're right. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island just a few weeks' journey from here. I'm sure by the time we return, this will all be sorted out. If it comforts you to mock me, then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him, you've thrown strategy completely out the window. You could have died. I suppose. But now we need to find a way to enter the temple. We're wasting time here. That seems to be our best bet. You may not be able to see these creatures, but you can still hear them. I'm not sure I like how this girl is always charging ahead. Fear not, she has already proved a valuable asset to us. <sighs> you know, I've been thinking about what Farah said earlier. She has a point. How do you plan to kill the Vizier? He's immortal now. The dagger made him into what he is. It can unmake him. I suppose we will know the truth of this soon enough. before they steal any more from you. Huh? 
Such a beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door. If you require a break, by all means, take your time. You could move a little faster. You're more than welcome to come down here and try it yourself. Seven years and still nothing's changed. Seven years? What are you talking about? It's a figure of speech. There is something very odd about you. She has no idea. Ah, we are making progress. I think I see a bell in that tower. Perhaps if you can get me to the next balcony, I can sever its rope. You can use it to access the door switch. With my luck, it will probably trigger some terrible trap. Or summon sand monsters. Or bring about the end of the world. Would it kill you to show a little optimism? Experience has taught me wishful thinking only leads to disappointment.
See? You did it! We did it. Wait! There are people hurt inside. We should help them. Now is not the time, Prince. You can help all you want later. Go, Farah. Tend to the wounded. I will catch up with you once I've dealt with the Vizier. And so the Prince and Pharaoh separated. She sought to save lives, he to end them. For the Prince intended to confront his enemy, and perhaps utilize the powerful warriors who had holed up inside the temple. His mind churned with thoughts of glorious vengeance. But something new as well. Descending into the depths, his thoughts kept returning to Pharaoh. He wondered if she was thinking of him as well. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? conquer a city is one thing, but to do so with such violence and cruelty is something else entirely. I will return every blow he has landed against my kingdom. We are close, Prince. So close. Let us make him suffer.
Babylon's last line of defense, fallen. These men served my family well. With their defeat, the city is fully in the hands of the Vizier. Strike while they are blind! 